Chapter point, President William Ruto has urged all parties in South Sudan to commit to the Tumaini Initiative made off by Kenya to restore political stability in the, in the country. Uh, the president said the initiative will complement the 2018 revitalized peace agreement for South Sudan and the peace process mediated by the Rome-based Santa Gidio community. The high-level mediation attended by six heads of state and government scales up Nairobi's diplomatic standing as key player regional and continental uh, involved. The head of state who presided over the launch of high-level mediation for South Sudan urged all parties to commit to the peace process headed by Lieutenant General Retired Lazarus Sumbewu. The president exuding confidence in the Tumaini Initiative, which brings together eight categories of parties and groups in South Sudan. This gathering marks a pivotal moment in a, history, in a historic journey, uniting stakeholders committed to ending conflict and political instability in South Sudan. President William Ruto hailed the initiative as a template ready for deployment to solve continental problems. This initiative exemplifies the Pan-African policy of African solutions to African challenges, contributing to the silencing of guns in Africa initiative and fostering an environment of transformational development in South Sudan, our region, and possibly the entire continent. Lazarus Sumbewo, the chief mediator in the South Sudan peace process, thanked parties including the European Union and the United States for calling the process a helping hand. After this launch, we plan to engage in a sustained and continuous mediation to find a uh, and to ensure speedy and comprehensive resolution of the issues so long as the parties go along with the plan. President Salva Kiir on his part said the South Sudanese government will negotiate in good faith and with an open mind. We hope that opposition groups have a similar conviction and a desire for peace in South Sudan which would we, when fully achieved, will bring everlasting stability and economic development. The United States, the United Kingdom and the European Union all call for speedy electoral reforms to transition Juba to elections. South Sudan has been embroiled in internal strife since a breakdown of relations between President Kiir and Vice President Riek Machar in 2013 with several peace deals having been violated by both parties in the intervening period. A unity government in 2018 that led to the return of Mashar has held to some extent, but the violence between factions has continued, threatening the lives of many with the situation in South Sudan where there is a civil war causing more strain. Elections are meant to take place in December, with the incumbent President Kiir having said he will run. The mediation was attended by President Lazarus Chakwera Malawi, Hakainde Hichilema, Zambia, Nangolo Mbumba, Namibia, Somalia's Prime Minister Hamza Bare, and the African Union Commission Chairperson Musa Faki Mahmad. The Tumaini Initiative by Nairobi boosts Kenya's diplomatic credentials as an anchor state in the region and key to the stabilization process in Eastern Africa and the Horn of Africa region. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV.